This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. I cannot believe I'm going to be doing this. I've done some crazy grinds guys, but this one might be the worst so far. In this video, we will be hunting for the Dragon Metal Slice, and it is obtained from adamant dragons in the Lithkren vaults at a drop rate of 1 in 5000. This item is one of the three pieces you need to make the Dragon Kite Shield, which sadly nobody really uses, even though it looks awesome. You might say, well, you've killed over 6000 Mithril Dragons for a Dragon Full Helm, surely 5000 adamant dragons can't be worse. Well, to that I say, on Mithril Dragons, I could AFK most of the time, and despite the grind being over 80 hours long and most of it was done not really focusing on the game. But with Adam and Dragons the story is a bit different, they have multiple attacks I need to keep track of which requires my full attention at all times. First off we have the poison projectile that first hits where you're standing and then splits into two more projectiles that you have to avoid. The damage of this can be reduced with an anti-poison but you still take a decent amount of damage with one on. On top of this ability the Adam and Dragons literally have a ruby bolt special attacks that you can use, which do actually hit through protection prayers, so you can't even avoid this. The Adamant Dragon sacrifices 10% of its own HP to deal 20% of the player's hit points. This is essentially just unavoidable damage you will have to take. Lastly, the dragon can use all combat styles, melee hits, ranged hits, and magic attacks. Melee is definitely avoidable by just standing far away, but as for magic and ranged, they are completely random. All of this makes the grind way worse than Mithril Dragons, and honestly, I hope I get lucky here because 5000 Adamant Dragons might drive me crazy. Now luckily I do have the best gear in the game to kill Adamant Dragons as fast as possible, so that is going to definitely help, and all of this gear is worth around 1.8 billion GP. Now for inventory, in the Divine Rune Pouch I have both Home Teleports and High Alchemy, so if I get any rune items or dragon items I can alk them right away, and as soon as I'm at my house I have already pre-potted an antidote in the bank, I will use the Dig Site Pendant to teleport to Lithkren, and then run north all the way up here to Adamant Dragons. And when we have arrived at the Adamant Dragons, I will use my Saturated Heart and Extended Super Antifire, use my Protect from Ranged and Augury, and just start attacking the monsters. And here are the two abilities in action that are going to be the most annoying to deal with. The Poison Splat, which then spreads into two. And in just a second here, you will see the dragon take six damage on its own and hit me for 14 with a Ruby Bolt spec. And this can hit me up to 20 damage at maximum. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Raycon. I have started taking more walks and having the Raycon earbuds with me makes them so much more enjoyable. Raycon earbuds are a high quality product for a great price. You can buy even two pairs of Raycons and still have paid less than some of the other premium audio brands. With the current world economic situation, I'd say that this is a pretty good time to buy yourself a pair as well. On top of being very affordable, they offer a buy now pay later option, where you only have to pay as low as $18 at checkout and if you're not happy with the earbuds, they are very easy and free to return. But with them having 50,000 5 star reviews, I'll take a bet on that you will be satisfied with the earbuds right away. I sometimes do have issues fitting earbuds in my ears, but with the custom gel tips Raycon includes in the package, I only had to find the ones that fits me, and after that, they've never fallen out, even while running. Lastly, the earbuds are noise isolating, that's why I love working out with them and really feel the music I'm listening to. Or you could also focus on what I'm saying while farming some 1 in 5000 drop in RuneScape without annoying background sound. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash alonescape to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring the video, let's get back into the grind. Almost at the end of the trip and we get a dragon medhelm, the first dragon item of the grind, but not quite as useful and valuable as the dragon metal slice. Now because the ruby bolt spec attack actually scales off how much HP I have at the current time, it is actually optimal to stay around this hit points all the time so you don't risk getting actually killed, but also you don't take too much damage from the actual hit. As you can see right there, I only took an 8 damage even though it damaged itself for 17, which would have been a max hit on me normally, so that is very nice. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of these dragon plate skirt. It's a 1 in 110, so not that rare, but definitely worth quite a decent amount of money. 
Oh, I just noticed I got a Wrath Talisman drop as well. These are worth basically nothing, 500 GP, but they have the same drop rate as the Dragon Plate Skirt, 1 in 110, so that is like 160k I missed out on. When I started this grind, I set a timer for one hour to see how many kills I can get in that time to kind of gauge how long this grind is overall going to be. And after this one, we are hitting roughly the one hour mark and I have done 79kc. That means if we reach 5000 kill count without getting the dragon metal slice, this is going to be roughly a 64 hour grind. And that is now 100 KC done on Adam and Dragons. Only have to do this 50 more times now. Hey, there we have also the dragon plate legs. That is now all the dragon items obtained from these monsters that are all 1 in 110 drop rate. The legs, the plate skirts, and the med helm. No way. Dude, are you kidding me? I've done 168 KC. I was just getting into the grind, man, and we already got the item. That is 1 in 5,000. Bro, what is this luck? I just did a Corporeal Beast video, and basically the same thing happened with the Arcane Sigil. I just got it, like, right away. What even is this? Right there. Dragon Metal Slice obtained after 168 KC. I don't even know what to do now, like... 43.6 million GP is uh, achieved, I guess. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing that we did with the Corporeal Beast video, which is we're going to be risking the Dragon Metal Slice from this point, and we're instead going to swap the item, as I felt like it was over a bit too quickly, to the Dragon Limbs. I actually didn't even mention this, but they have a 1 in 1000 drop rate of Dragon Limbs. So let's just go from 168 KC all the way to a 1000 KC mark, and if we do not get the Dragon Limbs, I am going to be giving away the entirety of the Dragon Metal Slice. Alright, the first kill back, can we get a back-to-back -back Metal Slice? We cannot, Rune Maze, 8k GP, nearly as good as a Dragon Metal Slice. Second milestone of the grind, we are reaching 200 KC with this dragon for some adamant bolts unfinished, and we have made 44 million GP so far on this grind, but of course we are risking most of that at this point. Oh, there it is, the first elite clue scroll of the grind, these are actually pretty rare, so nice to see one. Don't you dare make this my first death of the grind, don't hit 19! Don't you dare hit 19. Oh my, okay, we're teleporting out, we're tele I'm not dying this time. And with that, we're hitting another milestone, 300 KC for an adamant plate body, but uh, we have not been spooned yet on the dragon limbs, I am shocked. One of the drops that I keep getting from adamant dragons is grimy torstals, and they're worth just below 3000 GP, and I remember them being worth a lot more than that, and let me actually show you something. Alright, so here we have the grimy torso price, just below 3000 GP, and if you go down to a one year graph, look at the price of this. It started off at nearly 9000 GP, and I think it's because of TOA just giving so many torso seeds, the price has plummeted to below 3000 GP. The only downside to using the Tumican Shadow is that the charges can be a bit expensive, I think it's around 900 GP per charge, and I've used around 3000 so far, and I think that the entire grind, if I go 1000 KC, is going to cost me around 9 million in charges. We are back again at Adam and Dragons and reaching another milestone, that is 400 KC done for a Rune Scimitar, and don't look at the chat, don't mind it. Oh! Okay, well, I guess we had our first obligatory death of the grind. That took quite a while, like 435 kills before it happened, so that's fine with me. Oh, monsieur, second elite. I have to say, I am definitely getting a bit nervous now for actually losing this challenge, because we just hit the halfway point, 500 KC done on the Adamant Dragons, and... Uh, there is always a chance that I could also get a second Dragon Metal Slice, and there is even a chance, a 1 in 9000, that I've not even mentioned yet, of getting a Visage. So, all of that could potentially happen. Another 100 Adamant Dragons defeated for 600 overall KC, only 400 to go. Oh, never mind! No more Adamant Dragons to kill! That is, I think, 690-something KC. 
for Dragon Limbs. Another challenge completed. I have been so extremely lucky in the last videos. It's insane. Now, with that done, I feel like the only appropriate ending to this video would be to make the Dragon Kite Shield and the Dragon Crossbow, both of which items I got from the Adamant Dragons. So I actually ended up buying both the Crossbow String Magic Stock to make the Crossbow and the Dragon Metal Shard, which you can buy from the Myth Skill for 1.8 million, but I could just buy it from the GE just as fine, and the Dragon Square Shield to have all the things I need in my inventory right now to make both of them. You actually need 78 fletching to make it, but with 75 I can boost with 4 plus with a dragon fruit pie. So let's go ahead and eat that, use the dragon limbs on the stock. And that is the first step completed, and let's add a sinew and complete a dragon crossbow, basically from scratch. And now when it comes to the dragon kite shield, I'm not entirely sure how this is actually done. Maybe it's not even on a normal anvil, I might have to look this up because this does not seem to be working. For pretty obvious reasons I guess, I have never done this before, but apparently you have to go all the way to the ancient cavern, and I think I should be using one of these anvils maybe, and what item do I use on it? Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so here you make both the dragon plate body and the dragon kite shield. I think the plate body you need an item from rune dragons, so we cannot make that. But let's see, how much smithing experience? 1000 to make my own dragon kite shield. And um, you actually do lose money on this, I'm pretty sure. 44.2 million. I think I spent like 45 million actually making this, but that is all good. And uh, yeah, we actually made our own dragon kite shield basically from scratch. And uh, it's not very useful, unfortunately, but it looks awesome. We have two dragon items made from scratch in one video. And with that, the only thing left we have to do is to open the three elites that I got on that grind. So let's go ahead and open the first one for 206k, second one 118k, and a master clue scroll. Unfortunately, that is 87 herb doors, so that's going on the ground. And for the last Elite Clue Scroller, we get pretty decent, 218k. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I do want to mention, at 50,000 subscribers, I will run a live stream here on YouTube to celebrate, where I do anything and everything to make money, and at the end of it, I will give all the loot away to you guys at the Faladar Party Room as a way to say thank you. So if you want to see that happen faster, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In the last video, I killed up to 492 Abyssal Sire in the hopes of seeing the awesome looking Abyssal Dagger. If you want to see that, the video will be on the screen in a few seconds. But until next time guys, take care.